This is going to be a tutorial on how to create custom vehicles for the pointless car chase refueled. The only extra thing you're going to need for this is Blender, a 3D modeling software, link in the description below. To start, go to your file explorer. From here, go to this PC, and then go to the hard drive you have Steam installed on, so in my case, the C drive. Then go to Program Files 86, go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, the Pointless Car Chase Refueled, Vehicles, and create a new folder in here. Now, create a new folder. This will be where you store all your files for your vehicle. So in my case, I'm going to call it Dodge Charger. You can call yours whatever you want. I'm just using this as an example. Now that you have your new folder created, it's time to get a car. Go to your browser and look for Car 3D Model. Now you can go to CG Trader, Turbo Squid, or Sketchfab, whatever 3D model site you like. Let's use CG Trader as an example. Now search for a model. So I already found the Dodge Challenger. Although I called the folder Dodge Charger, it doesn't really matter, I noticed after the video though. So now, download. The FBX format is the best since it already contains the model and the materials packaged all into one. So your files might come in as zip files or .rar files or some other kind of compressed file. To uncompress files, I find 7-zip is the best. So go to 7-zip and press extract here. When it's finished, go into your folder and make sure you have the file in there. In this case, Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat 2015. So now that you have your model, open up Blender. I'm using version 3.1 but these instructions are relevant to 2.8 and beyond. So now, if you look in the bottom left corner, there's a little icon showing the keystrokes and the mouse movement, so you can follow along. Let's import your FBX file that you just downloaded, or any other type of format you got. So navigate to Downloads, and then find your model. So in this case, Dodge Challenger. You're gonna want your model facing forward along the Y axis. Press R, Z to rotate around the Z axis, and now type in negative 90 to make it face that way. So now that it's positioned properly, let's unparent it. So press Alt P, clear and keep transformation. This will disconnect everything, and you'll be able to delete unwanted things, like this armature. So now that you have your car, and each individual wheel, you're going to want to delete three wheels and keep the front left. Press N, and now, in your location, Set 0, 0, 0 on the X, Y, and Z axis. Go to Materials, and make sure you have Viewport Shading turned on. Sometimes your materials may not show up properly. Let's go to Add, Mesh, Cube and just create a new material. Now, copy material, and now you can just delete the cube. You just need the material. Now, select your car body, and on every material, press Paste Material. This will paste the default material, and it should work properly now. Same with the wheel. Paste all the materials onto the wheel. Now that you have all your default materials, go to the main body color and call this body. This will automatically change in the game to dynamically select your car color. So let's choose a color. Let's say, hmm, orange. So now that you have your orange car, select your window color. If you have no interior, 
call this window opaque. This will mean there's no transparency on your window and you can't see through it. In this case, I don't need transparent windows, therefore window opaque. However, if you do need transparent windows and you want to see through it, call this window transparent. I'm going to set it back to window opaque because I don't need transparency. For materials that you want to keep the color of, set the name to be something that doesn't include any of the names in the description below. We have a black grill. Let's call this black. This will not automatically change in the game because none of the materials contain the name black. In game, when it turns night, the white lights light up. Let's call this light underscore white. For the rear lights, the brake lights, whenever you stop in the game, the lights turn on. You're going to want to call this light underscore red. The bottom of the car, let's call this bottom. This will not automatically change in the game because it doesn't contain any of the names in the description. Now let's call this exhaust. Again, this will not change and it will stay the color you make it in here. So now, your body's generally complete. Let's go to the wheel. Let's call the main tire, tire, and make it say black. This will change in the game to become a tire. Now for the wheel, this will again change in the game to become shiny and look like a wheel. And let's call this brake. So now, your vehicle is generally prepared. There may be a few edits that you need to make afterward though. So let's go to File, Export, Wavefront OBJ. This will export as an object file. So let's go back to your file explorer, where you have your new folder. Copy the directory of this folder. And now, go back into Blender, and paste that directory into your search bar. Now, call this body, and it will automatically complete to body.obj and make sure you have selection only selected. Same with the wheel. Go to file, export, wavefront obj. Call this wheel. We already have selection only turned on, so you don't need to worry about that. Press export. There's just one more thing you want to add, and it's the sound of the engine. There's already some engine sounds provided in the game. Go to Vehicles, Samples, Engine Loops, and select one of the engine loops provided in here, or you can use your own. Just make sure you call it Engine, and it will appear in the game as the car engine sound. So now, let's open up the Pointless Car Chase Refueled. Once the game's loaded up, select a, a color for your car. If you notice, when you go to Custom, your vehicle won't be there yet, that's because it's not prepared. Now, go into the designer. Your new car is here, the Dodge Challenger, incorrectly named the Dodge Charger. Now, select that. However, it seems a little bit large. To fix this, let's go back into Blender. Select your car body. Press S to scale. And now let's scale it down to something appropriate. Something like 0.5. And now do the same with the wheel. Press S and then 0.5. The car body looks a little bit too hot. So let's press G, Z, move down on the Z axis. 
and let's set the location to 0, 0, and 0.5. Now, press F3, and then apply Rotation and Scale. This will apply all the changes we just made. Re-export your body as body.obj. And re-export your wheel as wheel.obj. Let's go back into the game. Refresh your vehicle by going into All Files and clicking your vehicle again. This looks a bit more tolerable. The silhouette on the bottom has the ideal size of the car. Let's scale it down a bit to fit that size. scale sideways to make it less squishy. And now, same with the wheels. When you have symmetry turned on, whatever you do to the left wheels will apply to the right, so you don't need to worry about both. Go into position mode, and move your wheels accordingly. Let's go back into scale mode, the wheels look a bit too small, so let's fix that. So now, go back into move mode to fine tune your positioning. Whatever you do to the left will happen to the right, so all your changes will reflect. So now, for your headlights, make sure you position them correctly so they appear properly at night. Push it in a little bit and it should work now. Same with the boost trails. Just position them where you want them to be, in this case over the exhaust pipes. And now, select the blue arrow, and move this. This is where your weapon will appear. The red arrow is where your first person camera is when you zoom in to go in first person mode. Make sure it looks proper. Modify your top speed, health, strength, and mass accordingly. And then, when you're ready, press save. Press back. And then, to refresh, go into custom, and then select your new vehicle. Your car will change color based on the materials you set in Blender. Let's turn off that music, it's a bit loud. So, now, your car works. When you press boost, the boost trails turn on. And when you zoom in to go into first person mode, is where the first person camera arrow is. So, test it out for a little bit. If you want the icon for your car to change color, Select a new color, and now go back into Designer. Now, when you press Save, the car with the new color will override your previous one. Now, let's test your weapons. So, select the weapon, if you have them unlocked, and respawn. And now, your car has a weapon. If you listen closely, you can hear the engine of your car. That is based on the file, Engine, the one that we added at the beginning. Also, don't forget your test. Also, don't forget to test your car at night.
Open your pause menu and set your time to be night. And then you can test whether your headlights are working. If you want to upload to the workshop, go to Vehicles Local and select your new car. Make sure you add a title and enter a description. Yes, it's a Dodge Challenger. However, I only noticed that after the video. Select the type of vehicle, so a car, truck, etc. and the quality. When you're ready, press Upload to Workshop. Go to Steam, the Pointless Car Chase Refueled, Workshop. Now it may not show up on this list immediately. So to make sure it did upload, make sure you refresh. If you've refreshed and it didn't appear yet, let's go back, press home, your files, files you posted. There, it's appeared. So let's click it. So to give credit to the original author, I'll just add the URL to the website. Let's paste that URL and press save. Now when you go back, it should show up on the list. If it still hasn't shown up yet, just give it a couple more minutes, sometimes it takes more time to load. So now it shows up when you sort by quality, or by type of vehicle. That's all you need to do to create a vehicle at the Pontus Car Chase Review. A couple of easy steps. Create your new folder, download your model, set the materials of your model with the proper names, export your model into that folder, add an engine set, open the game, go to designer, and set your vehicle accordingly. Then, your vehicle is in the game. When you want to upload to the workshop, just go to workshop, Vehicles Local, select your vehicle, and add all the details required. Then, press Upload to Workshop, and now you're done. It's a pretty easy task, once you get used to it. Trust me, I know. So that's all. Hope you found this tutorial helpful, and keep having some pointless fun in the Pointless Card Chase Refueled.